Hi. Um, this is ZVP on Python. It's uh well at the at the moment of playing this I'm B rank and my opponent is B minus level. It's about one month to the ICAP season, so uh, it means that he's pretty good actually. He 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 can probably reach at least B plus or so by the end of the season. Uh, since he has pretty good stats and it's gonna get a lot easier still uh, my go personal goal is a minus which I don't think is uh, unrealistic at, at all since I'm something like 7400 B at the moment of uh, this uh, game and uh, this is uh, on Python and on Python well there's not much to say besides the that uh, on this map it's quite hard for a Protoss to make a good uh, building pl block which will actually uh, be able to stop uh, Zergling run by it's real good so um, so that's that's why on this map uh, a Speedling run by from Overpool is pretty quite popular I'm gonna do that, that as well and another thing you gotta note on on this on this map is that uh, it's almost impossible to to make a double expansion uh, out of uh, out of uh, three hatcheries, uh, like your first three hatcheries are all gonna all gonna be in different bases, or un well, unless you're confident in your gaming sense and your overall uh, skill. Since uh, if if you don't have a good map control and you don't have uh, just good game sense, uh, at the worst case, you're just gonna have your opponent running all around and destroying everything, or you. Uh, or he's already at your expansion by the time uh, you you notice that he's actually moving out so it can t turn out to be pretty bad actually um, that's why even some pro gamers uh, prefer to make uh, th uh, only two bases from their first three hatcheries and the fourth hatchery to a uh, second expansion even if they know of, uh, of their opponent's fast expansion since it's just much uh, safer overall uh, and I make it. I made an overpool build over over here. I'm gonna try a speedling run by. Uh, so that's so basically I make uh, nine overlord, nine pool, uh, nine gas, and then one more drone. So I have ten out of seventeen. Then I save larva for some links. And now I notice that oh, that uh, normally if they start uh, nexus first and then then make cannons against an overpool build, it's gonna be way too late. Um, unless of course they skip probes, and since he's able to put uh, up these cannons so well in time before my uh, links come and so on, uh, it means that he's skipped a lot of probes. Of course, it might it might mean seem that uh, he has a big lead since he's able to uh, have all these uh, things going on while while your links uh, d d wasn't weren't able to even come over here but on, on the other hand he skipped so many probes that uh, he might not be in the lead at all uh, basically you keep making links after, uh, until a certain point uh, you try and make uh, make a run by the moment uh, your speed upgrade finishes and that's usually at around 12 links you shouldn't really wait more since if you wait more um, the more time he also has to prepare for whatever you're doing and uh, on the other hand if you wait too little uh, for example you have only 8 speed links and, uh, and your speed upgrade is finished uh, it's gonna mean that uh, that he, he has more time to prepare so that uh, even if uh, even if you're able to run by with a few links or something, he he'll be he might be able to have one zealot or even more cannons or so on. So it's not really worth it. You you gotta do it at the at the correct correct timing, um, and and you pretty much gotta deal something with it. Uh, since you lost 100 in the in minerals well, for, for making the upgrade, uh, so quite a few minerals and. Uh, uh, from for having those three drones gather gas instead of minerals and um, wa wasting one drone on that gas and so on so it's really questionable whether you should do it or not if you're not somewhat confident in your multitasking cap abilities and so on um, also you may notice that I, I double expanded instead of making a 
uh, three hatchery from two bases, and that's basically since I just uh, I'm making a fast speedling build, so I gotta t take try and take whatever advantage I can from a, a disadvantageous situation. So that's pretty much what I ga I gotta try and do, and also I'm somewhat confident in my multitasking and gaming sense, so. Uh, it's it's possible you can do it if you think you can able you're able to pull it off and if you and even if you don't think that you're some amazing pro gamer or something it's not like you can do it or so you just gotta accept the fact that something bad may happen um basically i made a hatchery from once i had th uh, i'm in layer once i had three hatcheries um I'm trying to since my speedlings weren't able to do like much at all. Usually I might be able to do uh, well. I might do lurkers or hydras or so. But if I start doing them after this sort of build, I don't know if I'll be able to uh, come back to the game since since uh, I, I just need a little bit extra since my speedlings di didn't deal any damage at all uh, to him and uh, and I after all lost quite a bit on doing that spilling build so I'm gonna try and make mutas over here um, it's a little bit hard for me to do pull it off right now since he saw my fast layer and usually that means that I'm gonna go fast muta or at least some sort of fast tech which means that he he's gonna be pre preparing himself for whatever might happen so it's very very possible that uh it, that he already knows of that I'm probably going to go muta or at least something that might require cannons to uh his main I decided to do it anyway since otherwise my tech would have been a little bit late and secondly even if they do know most of the time they do know of my mutas but even if they do know of my mutas uh it's not like I can deal any damage with them I just get a I just do, can't end the game with them. It's kind of like a ZVT if 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 he's able to know of your mutas beforehand, which happens like 95% of the time. Uh, even if he knows of your mutas, it means that you're not just gonna be able to end the game, but it doesn't mean that you won't be able to do any damage. Uh, meanwhile, um, I made just a few links, so so I'm able to like see block any scouting probes and. Um, and whatever minor zeal to harass he may, may be doing, um, I, I guess he was a little bit unsure what he was doing sin or what I was gonna do, so he made a corsair just in case. Now he's completely sure I'm making a spire, and he will be able to prepare in time, he will be able to make cannons to his main, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be my loss or anything. Uh, basically, I, ma I was able to make four hatcheries. Usually, I make uh, just new hatcheries whenever I have the money besides the specific build order I use for the first three since that's pretty crucial uh, but uh, the fourth I'm just gonna make whenever I have the money and my build since I didn't make any uh, useless links at all um, I was able to drone up pretty well which means I'm able to make four hatcheries and I'm actually gonna have a pretty good economy this isn't all in at all uh, I made fast meters but not only that I was able to make uh, or actually receive quite a good economy. Uh, often I prefer trying to make carry pace before before uh, he has plus one, but this time it just wasn't possible. So I just ha I just in that case I just have to settle with making a little bit slower upgrade and just uh, cope with it. Um, over here I was pretty lucky to to find. Uh, quite a few pylons powered, uh, all, pretty much all his gateways are powered w with pylons which means that if I'm able to grab these uh, I'm actually gonna do do quite a bit of damage to uh, his economy and seems like his high templars are coming over here as well so this was actually real good for me I was able to take his first high templars I'm able to take his first pylons and I'm my he, he doesn't have enough stairs to countermine mutas yet uh, that means that I'm actually very well off and uh, right now it's gonna take a lot of time for him to be able to make new high templars and uh, properly counter and resume his game actually uh, these mutas have already paid themselves off since besides the first harass it's not like these guys are useless like I can I can use them for a variety of things uh, picking up whatever scouting stuff uh, 
maybe take off at the island if he tries to take it. Uh, I can use the Scorch uh, and wh whatever else to kill his uh, Corsairs. He seemed to be making Corsairs anyway, so uh, actually making a Spire was not was pretty good since this way I'm able to counter it painlessly and uh, without m me getting like some sort of a big disadvantage of him killing all my Overlords. So, so I won't even need a Spore Colony since my Minalisks are going to be more than enough. Um, I just gotta be careful since there's quite a few Corsairs and so on, and my Mutas are weak, weak HP, so his Corsairs might just be able to kill them all if I'm careless. I can't get too greedy. Uh, once they regenerate some hit points, they can be a very valuable asset. Um, I need a double evolution chamber upgrade, especially since my 